Hello folks, today's video is going to be very very interesting for both aspiring data scientists as well as the ones who are working in this field already. So have you ever come across a challenge when you were trying to build a machine learning model but you didn't have a right data set or you already knew a couple of sources from where you could uh, get data set but finding it difficult to search for right data set from entire repository. Well, I'm going to let you know how to uh, search or find out the right data set for your machine learning model needs in this video. So you no more have to search for these data set at several sources or rather you could uh, find them at one place. And I will be sharing an important tip if in case you have a data which you want to share, uh, you know, with the entire world. So watch this video till the end to get all the amazing information. Folks, uh, this is Nitin who is on a mission to democratize artificial intelligence, big data Hadoop, cloud computing and blockchain to the entire world. And with this aim, I'm creating uh, the associated content and publishing it on a periodic basis in order to make it available for the entire community who wants to learn these modern technologies. Uh, you can subscribe to my channel or press the bell icon to keep on getting the latest update regarding hottest technologies of 21st century. You can also follow me on Twitter link given above uh, and uh, I have also added subtitles uh, as mentioned above uh, in languages like Hindi, English and French for your convenience. So you can enable them as per your needs. So folks, our favorite search engine Google has launched a search engine service for finding useful data sets on internet for our machine learning model development needs. The search engine's name is Dataset Search uh, and it is still in beta mode but open to community. There are lots and lots of data sets uh, available through this search uh, in multiple languages. Okay, And through data, uh, Dataset Search you can uh, find out any open data set stored anywhere on the internet. Now these data sets can be stored across thousands of repositories on the web helping the data scientist community like us to access them universal, universally. Okay, so let me open the data set search. Okay, first. So this is the uh, Google data set search engine service. Okay, so this is the link for that. HTTPS colon slash slash toolbox dot google dot com slash data search. So this is the uh, search engine for data set so let's try to extract an image related data set which is uh, most of the times required for training deep neural network based models for image recognition etc and let's type image data set in the search bar here so you can see it is giving suggestions here right and these all suggestions are each individual data sets okay so so you can see these suggestions. These are all data sets, okay, related to images. Uh, all of them have some one way or other, another uh, uh, type of images, okay. So let me hit enter. So on the left hand side, you can see uh, here, here. In, on the left hand side you can see that there is a list of possible sources of image image related data uh, okay and it, and you can just click on any of these uh, links to extract the data set okay in fact it has uh, taken by default something so image data set Okay, so here you can see that the, uh, the data sets got changed. Earlier it was some, uh, by default it has taken uh, by itself. Uh, the search string uh, was different. Okay, so you can see that on the left hand side, uh, there is a list of possible sources of images related data. And you can just click on any of these links to extract the data set. 
let's click on the data from the natural image uh, under Kaggle logo okay so this is the Kaggle logo and let's click on this and <clears throat> when we click on this clicked on this you can see that uh, on the right hand side you can find all the details like you know it contains uh, this particular data set contains 6899 images from eight distinct classes um, you can also see that uh, it has given the date when this data set got updated the author information which is presumed raw and the uh, description is given here so you can see the description of the, this data set so it has natural images okay and uh, so it has acknowledgement section citation etc okay all right so let's click on uh, this kaggle button okay to extract this data and as we all know that uh, this image data falls into unstructured data category so I will try to you know extract one more data set uh, which is going to be in some relational database form okay so you can see that our natural images data set is opening here okay so you can see if you scroll down you can see that there is a data dot zip okay file so if you click on it okay so here is natural images and you can see these that there are eight categories in which these images falls okay airplane cat car dog so there are eight categories in which these data falls so if you click on airplane you'll be able to see aeroplane images so on and so forth okay so you can click uh, on the uh, on this link to and you can see that data is 171 mb so you can download this data from this download link given here okay perfect now as i mentioned earlier this data is in um, unstructured uh, data category okay image data comes into unstructured data category so what if we need data for some regression based machine learning models well we can find out the data set for such a requirement by typing so let me type uh, regression uh, data set okay again it is showing some uh, you know uh, suggestions here so let's hit enter it has again taken something by its own right so by default it is picking up some value but we don't want that regression data set and bravo you can see that on the left hand side a list of data sets related to regression modeling popped up right Right. So let's click on uh, this linear regression exercise one data set, which is from data dot world. Okay. Again, on the uh, you know when we clicked on it, on the right hand side you can see that all the possible information here on the right hand side, uh, you know all the possible information about this data set appeared. Okay. Now let's click on this data dot world button and you will see a separate web page opened asking for uh, you know some credentials so this is the data dot world web page or link wherein you need to provide your credentials to access this data okay so it will ask for credentials so it has opened now and uh, if you scroll down you can see that there is average household size csv file if you click on this it will ask for credentials so if you already have credentials you can provide your credentials to download this data set otherwise you can sign up uh, either using google or some other uh, platforms 
so you can just sign up and then you can start downloading the data set from here okay similarly uh, you can also extract data from classification and clustering uh, based uh, machine learning algorithms or machine learning models so you can train uh, your uh, machine learning model on this these type of data right so here comes important tip uh, okay as i told you in the beginning so if in case you want to include your own data into data set search uh, so that anybody can access access it on the internet you need to do uh, certain things to have it included in data set search so you, basically anybody can search your uh, anybody can search the data you have uh, provided to data set search engine and uh, if they provide the right keywords your data set can be uh, you know suggested to them right and uh, basically we need to follow three steps uh, first one is to add the metadata in schema.org so there is a website called schema.org okay so you need to uh, add the metadata in here to each page you have uh, you know in fact the page you have that describes the data set okay so you need to provide that metadata of that page wherein you have the data set okay so this is the page all right secondly you need to verify that markup produce uh, produces structured data okay so markup as in like um, html page i'm talking about so html is uh, hypertext markup language right so this uh, page which you have provided to schema.org you need to verify that that markup page produces the structured data that you expected uh, structured data testing tool okay so the structured data testing tool link is uh, this one let me type it so this is the link search.google.com slash structured data slash testing tool so uh, what you need to do is you need to verify that the markup produces structured data that you expect in a structured data testing tool which is this tool okay all right and if in case you have multiple pages then uh, you know in fact before this before this uh, you you need to uh, go through some documentation uh, about how can you include or how to include the metadata in schema.org okay so there are steps given and there is a, a you know documentation link which you can go through so the documentation link is this one let me type so this is the link so i repeat all the steps once again number one is you need to add the metadata in schema.org which is this one which this website uh, to each page you have that describes a data set and in order to follow uh, the steps you can go through this uh, documentation link okay uh, this documentation link uh, has all the uh, steps given okay to include your data into data set search okay or data set search engine service okay so these are step by step uh, or the steps given here you can follow these steps to do that secondly you need to verify that the markup as i mentioned earlier that markup uh, uh, produces structured data that you expect in a structured data testing tool which is this one okay and if in case you have uh, multiple pages then you will need to create a sitemap and uh, add uh, and then after that you need to add that sitemap to your search console okay so the link for the search console is this one let me type it again <clears throat> so this is the link for search console okay lastly if uh, after a week or two uh, let us say you don't see your data set in the data set search then you can file a bug using feedback button okay so please note that no contract is required in order to have the results listed in dataset search 
okay so folks this is it for this video uh, to conclude i introduced data set uh, search service of google using which you can find uh, data sets for your machine learning model development needs okay so here's a qu uh, today's question uh, what is the other most frequent source you use to fulfill your data set needs in order to build the machine learning models please post your comments uh, in the comment section given below and if you're watching this video and you are already not a subscriber to our channel then consider clicking that little subscribe button in case you have already subscribed then click on bell icon to receive the notifications whenever i will release a new video so thanks for hanging out with us guys uh, i will be covering next topics in the upcoming videos so keep on watching thank you